Scratch Pet Podcast is back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. We reached over 10,000 subscribers. Thank y'all. We're trying to get to 20 now. You know what I'm saying? We, had, we actually had, um, we actually had what? Uh, we actually had uh, 10,100, right? Yeah, 10,100. Yeah, 10, so, you know what I'm saying? A little, probably a little more than 10,100. Super Chats are still down. Waiting for YouTube to fix the problem. If you want to donate to the Cash App, link's in the description. PayPal's in the description. And you know what it is. So, we're going to get into this Joe Button things and we'll be back. Who raised you? Oh my god, this shit is so hard. Oh! Oh my god. That last bar was crazy. Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't, can't understand it neither. All right, man, sketch pad, we back. All right, so look, to provide some backstory, Joe Buttons has came out and said something in response to what Drake said something about him on his album. So Joe has responded. So we're going to listen to Joe's response, and then we're going to come back and discuss how we feel about what he said. And uh, is Joe a little bit bitter, or is just Joe just speaking facts? Let's go. Might be my last rap album review. Ninety-eight mm. percent of y'all sound uninspired. Mm -hmm. Y'all do sound low effort. You, there's no new, exciting, creative energy on the way. All of y'all sound like y'all trying to sound like Someone the else. artists that you like a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. None of y'all seem to be trying to innovate. I missed the Drake that when he dropped, the rappers hit him. Not these little kids. I don't give a f about you and Kaisenet. That's gonna sound like hate. It is. It's not. It's not hate. It is. It's not. Hate. Go find some your age. Hang out with them. Get some of that sauce. That Where is the verse that Yachty said is arguably one of the best verses Drake has ever written? It's nowhere on this project. No. His top ten, he twenty, don't even thirty, have the best forty, on his project. top fifty verses are not on this project, and that's where I recognize I have to let go of. I have to let go of, of Drake. I have to let go. The Drake that I love was the best hook creator, maker, loner outer of in the world. Mm -hmm. When is the last, mem what is the last memorable hook you've heard from Drake? I haven't heard a dominant hook from Drake in a long time. That's a good point. So now you couple that with, he don't, he don't rap the way that he, stay scheming, take care. This is like Yachty rapping. This is like, he rapping for the children. And that's my, yo, dog, I had to look up how old it was when I finished listening to the album. Mm -hmm. You are 36. Your birthday is in 20 days. I Googled that too. You are <laughs> 37 years old. Get the f away from some of these younger n and stop f 25 year olds. I want to hear adult Drake rapping for adult people. No, you're not going to hear that's that. That's my issue with him today. You're not gonna hear he that rapping, he rapping for the kids, the streams, the, the, the Instagram the comments, the algorithm. Yeah, he rap, I'm rapping for this. No, he ain't really rapping. He ain't trying not, to rap for me. No, he's not. And I accept that. I don't yes. know. I accept that. Mm -hmm. Listen, he has given me enough. I certainly don't want to sound like I'm sitting here complaining. If he don't make another song, I am well fed. Pause. Right. All right, man. Sketch pad, we back, man. So look, man. Man, that was it's pretty deep, man. <laughs> All right, so let me speak on this because I'm gonna I'm gonna come at this from two different angles. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna play devil's advocate, and I'm gonna speak on what Joe said. And is it any type of validity to what he said? And is it true? So I'm gonna speak on. Uh, I'm gonna go with the devil's advocate first. Um, this does sound like hate, right? From people that may think it sounds like hate. I think Joe playing devil's advocate, me, just the other side. 
I think he does sound a little bit bitter. And I think he sounds a little disappointed. Because I think he, Joe is a rapper's rapper. And Joe wants Drake to be uh, more than just what he's been doing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I also think that a lot of this is stemming from Joe's relationship with him and his ex. And knowing that they had some type of, because he might not want to say it or not. It doesn't matter. When somebody does something to you, that they take a piece from you. They take something from you. So what Drake did with his ex, I think Joe looked at Drake as a cool dude that was a friend of his at one point. And he did that to him. And it's like, we we you out for yourself. So I think that him coming off and saying certain things it is coming off a little bit destructive in a way because he knows what happened to him. You know what I'm saying? What they did with their little, their little quorum that they had going on without me bringing up all that stuff. So I do believe that, that speaking on the, from the devil's advocate point of view, I do believe that there's some type of malice in this, what he's saying. And, um, what, what he has, uh, said about drake and his career and how he's sounds uninspired he did that with views um now is there any validity to what joe says absolutely a hundred percent of what he said is facts 95 percent of rappers sound uninspired now that may be joe's fault not his fault that they sound uninspired but that may be his fault and who he surrounds himself with his, his team, because they don't listen to nobody else. We listen to people who don't sound uninspired. We listen to Ren. We listen to uh easy mill, Tom McDonald. These dudes are rapping and they're doing extraordinarily good music, but see Joe and them don't listen to that. So when they say 95% of rappers sound uninspired, I have an issue with that. Because you don't, you only listen to a pocket full of rappers. You don't listen to the rappers who really be out there working. That's one. Two, another thing. Um, is he right about Drake? Yes. I've been saying this about Drake for the last 10 years. That Drake need to rap more. He need to make more music. And on the flip side of that, um, this is a young man's game. And I know I've seen some people say, you know, it's a young man's game, but is it really a young man's game? Because everybody that's successful as a rapper is old. Every one of them. Every one of them. Every one of them. <laughs> They're all old. None of them are under 30. Every one of them are over 30. From Rick Ross to, to Drake to Kendrick to Nas to J.M., the list goes on. I could keep going. They, they all over 30. Uh, Pusha T, uh, uh, Kanye West, they all over 30. None of these rappers are young. So when they say it's a young man's game, I have an issue with that because it's really not a young man's game. It's never really been. It's just the young people are the ones that are streaming, but who's controlling the game? So what, what Joe is saying is absolutely true. Drake does sound like he is uninspired. He does sound like he don't really want to do it no more. He's only doing it for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, now if Drake mess with young girls or whatever, young, not young girls, like, but I, I have an issue with that. You can't tell that man who he can sleep with. If he, if he's, if he's 30 something years old and he's messing with 25 years, who cares? They're, they're, they're adults. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't matter. And that's what makes me believe that he has an issue with that because you messing with that has nothing to do with music you know what i'm saying like you bringing up him messing with 25 year old women has nothing to do with music that just lets me know that you were better about that part of him you know what i mean so so in closing um i do believe that what joe said does have some type of validity and some weight and this is going to have a ripple effect for probably for a long time i think this is going to damage drake what he said is going to damage Drake.
and and people might think that that, I'm, that it's funny. They might say, "Oh, you know, it's not." I truly believe what Joe Button says said about Drake. In in five years from now, if he's doing the same thing, it's over for him. Not over like he's like he can't do nothing else because he's already solidified. But it's over for him. So I yield to you. You go ahead. All right, so um, I want to uh, I want to say this, okay? You know, um, at one time Joe was Drake. Let's be clear here. At one time Joe was Drake because he had everything that Drake had. I want I wouldn't say he had well, everything. Well, it couldn't be. Everything. It couldn't be. Um, it couldn't be at one time Joe was Drake. It could be at one time Joe was Joe and Drake turned into to, uh, Drake because then you basically are saying that Joe Buttons was Drake. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not. I don't mean it. I don't mean it as far as uh, I don't mean it as far as his uh, style. I'm talking about lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like no, nah, not like, so. You saying? I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm just trying to understand. I'm, I'll admit. I, I don't mean as far as um, I don't mean as far as rap style. I mean yeah. as far as like how he was how he was living. You know what I'm saying? He had he had he had in 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 in, in the space that Drake is in. He had he had some of those things. I'm not gonna say he yeah, had yeah. everything. Okay, okay. But he had but he had some of those things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not gonna say he had like the the financial backing. That uh that 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 Drake has, cause let's be clear, you know what I'm saying? Drake, Drake is a machine in himself, and he has a big machine behind him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So let's be clear with that. Now, what I want to say is that sometimes I feel like, you know what I mean? Joe is kind of hypocritical just a little bit because, like, you know what I mean? You can't. You were doing some of the same things that Drake was doing when you were when you were uh around his age and even younger. Now you get into this creative space where you're podcasting and you're basically, you know what I'm saying, having debates and and everything about people's music and interviewing people. Now you basically hold in the palm of your hand a voice that can either make or break somebody. So now you telling me that this man over here is A, B, and C, right? And he ain't even on D yet. That's what you're saying. You saying that you saying that he's he's in he's in a he's in a space where he's not creatively updating himself. And that could be true. That could be true. But my whole thing is that like why do you even care why well, i mean what what to what to what significance does it even hold like why do you what what is what is the point of you even caring if he is or if he ain't because at this point in his career if he if he you said it yourself if he dials back now you cool with where, where he's at you cool if that's it for him he's already solidified so what does the so what do you care about if this guy is here or here? It it doesn't even matter at this point because he probably is, he probably does want to take a break. You know what I mean? Now, I I haven't listened to that album, but what I have listened to, I thought was crazy. You know what I'm saying? And you already know what we're talking about. Right, what I have listened to, I thought that joint was fire. But like I said, I could, I could, on the other side, I can understand what he's saying too. But if you're not broadening your whole horizon, like you said, and you're not listening to anybody else outside of what you're already used to, then you can't even say that 95% or whatever you were saying 
is not creatively challenging themselves because you're not even you're not even looking for these type of artists that are you're just listening to who you're listening to who your ears are used to hearing on a regular basis you know what i mean now mind you if 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 drake if drake is is crowd is a little bit younger then who cares because like the old heads are not listening to drake we talked about this before off camera the old heads ain't listening to drake they're not listening to nothing drake has to offer how many times have we have heard people say especially in our age bracket have said oh yeah man he needs to he needs to do this he needs to do that i'm sick and tired of his singing and you're right i want him to rap more too i really do i really do want him to rap more i really want him to spit you know what i mean but at the end of the day like he's in control of that creatively if that's what he want to do he gonna do it if that's don't not what he want to do that's on him do you know what i mean I'm not too much. I'm not too much um, on the fact that uh, oh he needs to do this and he needs to do that. The guy has been banging out joints for for decades now. You know what I'm saying? If this is him saying that I'm going to be winding it down and taking a break, so be it. You know what I'm saying? So be it. He made his money. You know what I mean? Who who really cares? My whole thing is that. You know what I mean? Joe needs to just worry about what Joe doing. Worry about what this man over here doing now. If he got if he got a personal grudge, like you said, then you know what I mean? Then uh then like that's something that he gotta work out within himself. Um that and and by no means does this take away from the fact that I think that Joe is a phenomenal rapper because he is he is he like in my book as far as lyricists he definitely like top 20 top 10 whatever you know what i'm saying it all depends it all depends on what track you're talking about when and where or whatever he definitely he definitely can rap rap he's nice with that pen but to me this ain't got nothing to do with rap this got more or less to do with him personally you know what i'm saying and him just saying whatever he want to say over here i i just don't see what the big what the big deal is i feel like he needs to just focus on what joe doing and let that man be over there now if they got a personal grudge then go ahead you know what i mean handle it maybe this will be something that uh inspired joe to get back up and start rapping and then maybe put out a diss record i don't know I don't know, but it's a couple of things you said that I that I disagree with. Um, one thing you said that I disagree with, you said that Joe shouldn't worry about it. What he says, well, he's a podcaster and he's a he's a uh, a mouthpiece for criticism. Now, I'm not saying you're wrong. I just disagree with he shouldn't worry about what Drake's doing, because basically that's what he's that's his job now. His job is to critique. Now, do we agree with his critiquing? No, we don't. We can agree that it's the way he critique, critiques certain people, it does sound destructive. I will say that. But for the, for I'll have to disagree with you saying um, he uh, shouldn't worry about it. That's why another thing you said uh, that, well, I don't, I'm not going to say I disagree with that, but I don't think that Joe's, rapping ability is called into question in this uh in this thing i think that um most people know what time it is when it comes to joe button they don't play they don't they, 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 either either you know pump it up or you know moot music it's one or the other because if you only know pump it up then you don't know joe if you if you know moot music then you know joe that's how it goes mm -hmm. um do i believe what joe said has some type of validity if you break down what he said He's absolutely right. Drake hasn't been rapping and hasn't been sounding good as a as a just a complete rapper. I'm saying like since f for a long time, but that's their fault. It's Joe's fault. That's all the fans' fault. That's everybody's fault 
for not holding his feet to the fire back then. You can't say nothing about the man now because you let it slide for so long. Joe, all of them, they all of them dick ride Drake. They all dick ride Drake. Joe did the views thing, but after that, he he even said himself, all of these people dick ride Drake. They let him slide. You know what I'm saying? They let him do stuff with, they, they, he, they gave him a pass. But another thing I want to say, and, and you can say something after this if you want. If not, we can end it. Um, when you rap at a such high level, people look at you and they say that you're not that good. For example, he said that there wasn't no good verses on this project. That verse that we re reviewed, that verse is nuts. But see, I know. Drake raps at such a high level that he will say that that's not a good verse. It's the same thing. It's like Little Yachty. We think Little Yachty isn't that great of a lyricist, right? But when he spit mm -hmm. that, what happened? Oh man, that's crazy. Because yeah. we're not expecting that. So the thing about the thing about uh like Eminem, for example, most people will say Eminem's not a great rapper, not all of them, but a good portion of people will say he's not a good rapper. Because he raps at such a high level, they hold him at such a high regard that if he says something that's one, if he says one bar that they think is corny, just one bar, they will totally exclude him because he raps at a high level. Royce of 5'9", Black Thought, all these people rap at such a high level that they, they criticize them in a certain way. They criticize them differently mm -hmm. from everybody else. So what Joe did when he criticized Drake, he's criticizing Drake at at his high level because we all know that if you just put on a bunch of Drake verses, it's classic. Mm -hmm. It's it's not many Drake mm -hmm. verses that are not good. Just rap verses. Matter of fact, I would go on far and say 90, probably 99% of Drake's verses is damn near perfect. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when they say stuff like that, that's, that's how I feel. But wait, if you want to respond or not, we can end it. It's up to you. I no, nah, it's uh as far as you say as far as the as far as um holding his feet to the fire, I agree with that. Um I definitely agree with that. Like I said before, I wish he do I wish he do rap more nowadays, you know what I mean? I feel like it's time to show people that he really can put together some words on the pen because he's done it in the past, so what's the point of not doing it now? I, I definitely definitely think he should rap more. Um I mean, if that's what if that's Joe what, what was Joe doing, you know what I'm saying? That's a good way, you know what I mean, of putting it, but then at the same time too, because he has such a, a extraordinarily big, you know what I'm saying, platform, you know. It could it could be damaging to Drake's brand in a in a, a few years from now, you know, a few yeah, years I, down the road. I agree. With like that. when 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 he go back and you start looking at the uh, the Snapple facts, then you go and read this and read this review and that review, and then his review comes up. You know what I mean? His review is going to be held in high regard. His, and, his you know. He, he really didn't have his, it really wasn't a review. It really was an issue. He didn't, he didn't go through song to song and say, yo, this song, he said this, I didn't like this. I like this. I like the beat. That wasn't a review. It was really, this shit is trash and you ain't, you sound, you Ooh. don't sound like you want it. You don't sound like you want it. Oh. That's what that was. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When he said, mm -hmm. oh, I stopped doing rap review albums. You didn't review the album, dog. You basically shitted on the album. Now I'm not saying the album's fire because I didn't listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, and I to be honest either. with you, I didn't like Drake's. I only like one of his albums, and that was I think it was the Certified Lover Boy. I thought that was nice. I liked that album. Anything surrounding that, I didn't like Scorpion. I didn't like um um Views. I didn't like uh uh the other one with his dad on the front. I didn't like none of them Jones. You know what I'm saying? So I can understand what him saying, but you have to give a proper review. What he did was not a proper review. He basically came out and said, this shit is trash. And I am hey. mad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so 
That's what yeah. that was. Well, well, hey, you know, I mean, it is what it is, then. <laughs> hey, man, look. Hey, it's destructive criticism and destructive criticism. And I think that what he did, even though he, he gave his opinion, it was destructive. And a lot of people yeah. going to take it like that. A lot of people going to take it as Drake made this the thing. And I'm a place. I'm and I'm, I already put it in the video so y'all can read it for yourselves. Y'all seen it, Drake. The reason why Drake responded the way he did to Joe is because he know Joe has a point. Because nobody responds, mm. nobody responds to somebody that they don't believe has a point. Right. And that's why. And he knows that Drake had. Drake knows that Joe has a point. I guarantee you. He gonna come back out and it's gonna be something different. Let me come back. Watch. Watch. So you feel so you feel like after he finished whatever he gotta do with this album and you feel like his next project, he's gonna come out firing all cylinders, that's what you're saying? Yeah. He's he gonna he gonna have to reinvent himself because the gig the jig is up, man. People know. And and this puts to bed whether Kendrick is better than Drake. Hands down, Kendrick is better than Drake. That's just the bottom mm -hmm. line. And I ain't saying that the shit on Drake. You can't compare the two. Mm -hmm. Can't. One one is one is quantity over quality. One is quality over quantity. Just okay. Before we sign off, right? Let me ask you one quick question, right? So what do you think about what Joe Button said about J. Cole? Um I think Joe has this issue with with these rappers now that are very good lyricists, but the, he I think he's thinking they're taking the lazy way out by doing just features or verses with other people. Let's be clear here, right? I don't think I think Drake has a cult classic album. I don't think he has a classic album. I don't think J. Cole has a classic album either. I think that his albums are very good. And I would say maybe Forest Hill Drive. But to me, that's a cult classic because you don't hear people saying out of nowhere, that John Pimp Butterfly, that John Good Kid Man City, that John Damn. No. So what he said about Drake, what he said about J. Cole, he would never say that about Kendrick. Never. He wouldn't, he wouldn't fix his face to say that about Kendrick, even though even though he liked Drake and, Ke and J. Cole more than Kendrick. That's the weird dynamic. Mm. So with him saying that J. Cole um, basically is taking advantage, he's basically saying like he's taking advantage of these rappers who were really not that great of lyricists and he's getting on there and trying to smash them. Like, I have an issue with that too because you can't tell a man how to make his music. Like, if he wanna, if he wanna capture, maybe, maybe, what J. Cole is doing is showing Gucci man fans that there are rappers who can really rap. Not to say Gucci can't rap, but there are fans that need to hear a better lyricist. And I don't see nothing wrong with that. I don't see nothing wrong with him jumping on a song with Gucci and killing it. I don't I don't see nothing wrong with it neither. My whole thing was cross promotion. That's what I that's what I looked at it as. I looked at him, I looked at J. Cole, what he was doing was jumping into another market and saying, hey, what's up? This is my man's too. Let me get on the record with him and show y'all what it is. Yeah. And then some of their fans is going to jump over and listen to J. Cole like, yo, this guy's really nice. You know what I'm saying? So I, mm -hmm. I was basically looking at it as cross promotion. I, I didn't see nothing wrong with him jumping on the record with Lil Yachty. I never seen nothing wrong with J. Cole and any of his features because Lil Wayne does the same exact thing. They dabble with different sounds. They well, dabble with different sounds and they mess with different types of, you know what I mean, artists. So, well, and, and, and we this this episode could go on forever. Yeah. It, just to just to end it, Lil Wayne is different from them because Lil Wayne is he's an enigma he's little wayne is much more diverse than them they might be better lyricists than him but he's way more diverse than them both of them you know what i'm saying because he can do 
he'll he can do a regular rap song and then he'll do something like like uh what's his name? He'll do something like Gucci Mac. You know what I'm saying? Lil Wayne is that type of artist. So he's not the same as J. Cole. J. Cole J. Cole can never be a Gucci. Even if he dedicated all the rest of his albums to that. He could never do that. Because he's too good of a lyricist. Yeah, I can't really see him doing that either. You know what I'm saying? I can't really see but him. But you can doing see Lil Wayne either. do it. You know what I'm saying? Lil Wayne could do it, but that Oh would yeah, of team. course. Of course. But you also could see Lil Wayne doing a whole rap album with just straight bars. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. either way, yeah. it is what it is. But this is a good episode, man. Hey man, listen, man. Sketch Pad Podcast. We out of here, man. Thank y'all for everything. We love y'all. Keep it coming, man. Keep it sharing. Peace. See y'all. Good night. Bye.